AJ, Anthony Joshua, gets stopped by Andy Ruiz in the seventh round in a good fight. Blessed loving, blessed night, boxing world, boxing nation, fighting world, fight nation. It's Coach Fire and this is real life boxing. Anthony, AJ, Joshua gets stopped tonight by Andy Ruiz. Before we get into it, y'all smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new content is being uploaded and you can be notified when we go live. Now, shocking upset by Andy Ruiz stops Anthony Joshua in the seventh round of the fight tonight. And um a pretty good and exciting fight. Anthony Joshua dropped Andy Ruiz in the third round. With a nice left hook. Um, rocked him pretty good. Andy Ruiz got up. And Anthony Joshua went for the finish. Kind of. Um, as the Wilder haters will say. Wilderish. Kind of went for the finish. Um, uncontrollably. Not being defensively responsible. And he got caught in the exchange with a few punches. But one punch, I believe, was a left hook that caught him right on the top of his head. Like right on the um, uh, um, on the temple. Those, those, those punches that just throw off your equilibrium. And Anthony Joshua did a dance. His legs went out from underneath him. And, um, and he went down. And here I am watching the, watching the fight again in the seventh round. And Andy Ruiz just starts rocking him again. But, um... Yeah, in that third round, he went down, and and he was rocked. He got up, and he went down again after Andy Ruiz threw a plethora of punches. Um, moving, <laughs> moving, moving down the line, you know what I mean? Moving on in the fight, um, they were going at it. And here goes AJ gets dropped again, but they were going at it. And in about the fifth round... Um, Andy Ruiz started going to the body with straight punches, throw a jab and a nice right hand right to the solar plexus, right in the in the bread basket. And Anthony Joshua was not liking those shots, and um, and it was just the beginning of the end from there. And like I said, I'm watching the fight over again right now. They just stopped it. It was the beginning of the end once Andy Ruiz. Started to go to the body. Um, AJ just started slowing down, going backwards. Andy Ruiz pretty much walking him down, um, going to his body, slowed AJ down, and and then just took it to AJ. Was just countering really well. The thing is, AJ would would you know was being aggressive. He was throwing big shots. You could tell he wanted to get Ruiz out of there. But every time he would land a big shot, he was not defensively responsible in. And, and um, Andy Ruiz would counter whether he got hit or not. Even if he got hit with a big shot, he would still counter right after just throwing a lot of shots. And Anthony Joshua at certain times was even like turning his back almost almost like he just didn't know how to defend um, that onslaught, the, t the quick hands. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, at certain points, Anthony Joshua was almost turning his back. So, um... You know, people could say what they want about Andy Ruiz being fat and looking like he's out of shape, but those fast hands really bothered um, Anthony Joshua, and plus he got some pop. You know what I mean? It's not like he can't punch. He could punch because he, he rocked um, Anthony Joshua a few times. I was in someone's live stream um, just now. Uh, I forget whose live stream it was, but... Um, you know, right off the bat, they're like, oh, Andy Ruiz wasn't even touching Joshua. Joshua threw the fight, and I'm like, ah, what fight were you guys watching? Or did you guys even watch the fight? Because Andy Ruiz was definitely touching him. Um, they were touching each other. It was a pretty good, it was it was a good, exciting fight, um, honestly. But, um, man, AJ just really um, disappointed. And, I mean, I did a video, you know, the other day, and my question was, can Anthony Joshua knock out Andy Ruiz? And I didn't do a fight prediction, but in that video, I said I thought that um, AJ would be able to KO 
Ruiz at least you know um, mid to late fight but it, it went the other way around I'm extremely disappointed man um I like AJ <laughs> you know what I mean um, you know some 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 of these people that watch the channel may feel like I don't like AJ but I like AJ I felt like him and Deontay Wilder you know were the best two heavyweights you know in the world um, but man AJ proves different tonight, but um, you know this is boxing, and like I said, the heavyweight division, anything can happen. I also did a video um a few weeks ago saying that you know um AJ and Wilder need to fight. We don't need to wait out these fights because you don't you you never know when any of them you know are gonna take a loss. Anyone could take a loss at any given time, especially in the heavyweight division. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? These guys are big men, punching big, so anything can happen at any given time. So. You know what I mean? I said that in the videos, and look, it happens tonight. Um, really unexpected. Um, this fight was supposed to be Anthony Joshua versus Jarrell Big Baby Miller, and Big Baby Miller failed his drug test, and Andy Ruiz stepped in um, on late notice and got the job done, man. Um, stops Anthony Joshua, and, you know, honestly, Anthony Joshua didn't look like he wanted to fight. He's leaning back on the ropes. The referee's asking him if he's ready to fight. He's not stepping forward. And even in the, in the last knockdown, he kind he kind of just took a knee. You know what I mean? Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz was just throwing punches, and he kind of just went down and took a knee. Like, you know what I mean? He he he. It's not even like he got dropped with a punch. Like, Andy Ruiz was just like in the midst of throwing a bunch of punches, and he just took a knee. Like, um. You know, he couldn't take it. He had no defense for the quick hands. Didn't know what to do. Um, shout out to Andy Ruiz, man, for taking the fight on late notice and getting the job done, man. And hopefully um, Anthony Joshua can go back to the drawing board, you know, fix whatever um, issues he had and come back and get his titles. He said he, he says he's exercising, you know, the, um, the rematch clause right away. So, um, you know, hopefully he could get his belts back and we could see a Wilder, um, <laughs> you know, Joshua fight. Wilder scheduled to fight Ortiz and then Fury. So he has two fights lined up already. So um, hopefully Anthony Joshua would, um, you know, put his rematch clause into use and go back to the drawing board, man. Um, first time in, in the U.S., he was in Miami. So, huh, y'all know Miami shit my Miami is could be a distraction just in this in itself especially him coming over from England and going right to Miami shit <laughs> that's that's that that's a big change man and um hard definitely hard to stay focused in Miami if you if you're not used to being you know what I mean from Miami so um like I said, hopefully he could go back to the drawing board. And I felt like um, even at the beginning of the fight, when when he first came out and he's standing in the corner, he didn't look good. Like, he didn't look um, comfortable. He looked real nervous. Um, he, he was leaning back on the, on, the, on the rope, like, almost looked like he was falling asleep. Like, like, he just wasn't even there. And then when they started to announce his name, he got up and turned around, started, you know, shaking his fist to the crowd. But... He was sweating, just sweat running down his head. Just looking real nervous. Um, um, Conquibox stats, 47 punches landed for Joshua, 56 landed for Ruiz, 176 thrown by Joshua, 206 thrown by, by Ruiz. Um, power punches landed, 23 for Joshua, 39 for Ruiz. Ruiz landed at a 33 um, percentage, Joshua 32. But um, like I said, good fight. Congratulations, Andrew Ruiz. We're not going to shit on Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? We don't do that. Like I said, I hope hopefully Anthony Joshua could go back to the drawing board and um come back right and get his belts back. I know I was kind of amped up in the previous videos. That was while I was watching the fight, obviously. You know what I mean? Um, I, I didn't expect that. Um, surprising. I thought that Anthony Joshua would have knocked him out. But congratulations to Andrew Ruiz. Um, also, shout out to The Zone for putting on a decent card. Um, good fights. Um, Katie Taylor was in a tough fight tonight. I felt like she lost that fight, but, um, you know, The Zone judges gave it to her. But I definitely felt like um, she lost that fight by, like, two or three rounds. That girl was just, you know, wasn't as pr wasn't as pretty, wasn't as, as good as a technically sound fighter as Katie Taylor. But she was just putting on the pressure, and Katie Taylor couldn't get away from it. Um, she, Katie Taylor kept fighting, though. Great fight. Um 
Ray Robinson and, and, and Josh Kelly. Um, I didn't see that whole fight, but I don't like the way um, Josh Kelly was fighting. Ray Robinson was putting the pressure on. He wasn't necessarily landing all his punches, but he was landing some shots. And Josh Kelly was landing some shots, but um, but that that was a draw. Josh Kelly looked pretty upset. Um, it was another fight too. It was another fight. But um. But yeah, man, shout out to all the fighters tonight. Shout out to the zone, like I said, for a decent card. Congratulations to Andy Ruiz. Um, hopefully AJ could go back to the drawing board and come back and get his belts back. And we can maybe see Wild and AJ in the future because it's boxing. And like we say, one defeat doesn't make you, you know what I mean, doesn't make you a bum or just because you lose, that doesn't mean you can't come back and get your belts back, man. That's what that's what that's what defines greatness. So let's see how good how great Anthony Joshua could be. I miss real life boxing. Y'all smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to ask you guys to protect yourself at all times. Peace and one love, man. So if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel, go to the PayPal link or the Cash App link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This is real life boxing.